remote internship is what you make out of it, same as any other internship. Um, it just has its own kind of unique challenges that you have to get over. Miller, your, your impact as a remote intern has been really incredible and valuable. Um, you obviously could have applied to other big tech companies like Facebook, Google, um, Apple, uh, but you decided to join Oklo. So I just wanted to learn a little bit about your sort of decision making and what influenced you to want to join Oklo. Well, first of all, thank you for saying that. I've been kind of invaluable. That means a lot. Um, and as far as like kind of what influenced my decision to join Oklo, uh, a large part of it is like the startup culture that Oklo has. You know, I, I have a number of friends who are working at companies like Google or Apple, um, and especially in an internship, they get given kind of a throwaway project that some senior engineer, you know, kind of looks at for 30 minutes, says great job, and then never thinks about again. Um, whereas like kind of at Oklo, I, I think they really want to take advantage of all the manpower that they can get, right? Like, it doesn't matter if you're just two years into school, right? You can still provide something valuable. Um, and the fact that they've really kind of given me a diverse and kind of impactful range of projects uh, really meant a lot more, uh, really meant a lot to me. You know, like I, I've actually gotten to work on stuff that's valuable to the end product and mentally that just means I want to work that much harder. Um, and so I, I always kind of knew going into the summer that I wanted to be working for a startup for a lot of those reasons. And not only was Oplo, first of all, like hit that, it's also a group of great technology, great people. I knew a number of people who were for Oplo um, and kind of based on their character, I knew that Oplo was going to be a great company to work for. That's awesome. And uh, we're really happy to have you, obviously. And you, you actually have a really interesting experience right now, given the pandemic, you are doing your internship, your engineering internship completely remotely. Um, how is that experience like? I mean, it's, it's definitely unique, um, right? Like kind of the goal of every internship is to get to know the people, kind of have these, you know, one-off conversations, if you will, like just trying to you know, pull someone aside after work one day and be like, hey, like, what do you think about the company? Like, how do you end up getting here? And so that aspect of remote internship has definitely been harder. Um, but people at Oakville have been really good about reaching out, kind of making it easy to just like say, hey, let's hop on a Zoom and talk for 15 minutes and just really getting to check in with people has been, has been great. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with what your outlook is on what you want to do, right? So my kind of purpose has been if I can help in some way, whether that's just kind of looking up an article and downloading it for someone because I have MIT access or something like that and sending it right to them. Like if I can kind of contribute in any small way such as that, especially remotely, like I want I want to be able to do that. Um, so, I, I, you know, remote internship is what you make out of it, same as any other internship. Um, it just has its own kind of unique challenges that you have to get over. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. It must be really interesting. I'm glad you enjoy it. So as a, you're a mechanical engineer, right? So what got you sort of interested in exploring to get into advanced vision? You know, I, I, mechanical engineering is a really kind of diverse field, it has applications in pretty much anything with a physical, physical hardware. Um, but I think nuclear is unique in many ways, especially with the amount of impact that it can have. Um, and so that was one of the big things that drew me to advanced vision, um, simply because, you know, it's like, there, I don't think there's any other technology that has, that has the potential for such a significant impact on the world, right? The energy crisis is kind of the largest problem that the world is facing right now. Um, climate change is obviously like terrifying and we don't have as much time as people think to fix it. So I think nuclear right now is really the only solution that has the feasibility of saving us in time. Um, and so that, that drove me a lot towards advanced vision. And I also think it's just such a, so unique that like, not only is there the technological challenges, but there's also the political, the social aspects of it. And one of my biggest takeaways have just been learning about the nuclear field. You know, this, this was my first kind of major experience with nuclear. And I, I felt so lucky to have like a much deeper knowledge base. And so now I, I feel much more comfortable talking to people and even just kind of advocating nuclear energy as clean energy 
Um, and I was, I was honestly surprised by how often people were misinformed or just kind of didn't really know what was going on in the nuclear industry. But at the same time, how quickly their opinions can change when you talk to them about stuff like, you know, the fact that Three Mile Island, one of like the major disasters in U.S. history for nuclear, first of all, no one was harmed, no one was killed. And that was built in the 70s. Like, when you think about how far technology has come in 50 years, like, not only is nuclear going to benefit from that, but nuclear is going to make its own incredible strides in 50 years. And I, I feel, like, proud to be able to like, tell people, like, hey, like, don't count nuclear out. Like nuclear is making just as significant and like, kind of earth-shaking, earth-shattering strides as it, as it moves forward. So you have a few more months with us at Oklo. You actually extended your internship with us and you deferred your semester um, and going back to college. So I'm just really curious as to uh, why you made that decision. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm in mechanical engineering um, and such a hands-on major. I, you know, along with not being invited back into the, to campus for the fall, I just kind of figured that, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough I'm not in a rush to graduate, so I'd rather kind of save my college experience for when it'll be more impactful. Um, and then beyond that, I just really feel lucky to be working at OPA. You know, if it wasn't a valuable learning experience for me, I wouldn't be doing it. If there's there's still classes to be taken online, et cetera. Um, and Oklo just kind of really hit everything I was looking for in an internship. It's a great working culture. It's an awesome product. And, you know, I've, I've learned a ton from people at Oklo in just a really relatively short time. Um, so it's, it's such a valuable opportunity that I figured, you know, a couple more months would be better for me than graduating another couple months sooner, right? It, it, this is kind of an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. Yeah, and we're lucky to have a few more extra months with you for sure. And I know you still have a few more months with us, but let's pause and reflect if we can. Um, what has been your most memorable experience working at Oslo so far? I would have to say kind of the most memorable experience is just interacting with the people at Oklo. I, I, I think the best way to kind of judge a company, and especially a startup where it's even more about the people and uh, not as much about the technology is just kind of who chooses to work for that company. I've, I've been so thoroughly impressed by everyone I've met at Oaklo. Not only are they all like whip smart and they have just a very fresh perspective on the industry, um, but they really want and are dedicated to the, the mission that Oaklo has beyond like it's, it aligns with their own personal missions beyond kind of what they're doing for work. And, and also Oaklo has, just an incredibly diverse staff, which is so unique. I mean, I, the fact that half the Oklo staff is female is something that's rare to find in tech, let alone in the nuclear industry, right? That's just, I, it kind of shows that Oklo is very forward thinking and looking for people that want to have a significant impact kind of beyond your average employee. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing 